Can you hear that? No. Okay. The kids are upstairs, like jumping on on the on top. So if you can hear like dunk, 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 I was just wondering. <laughs> Hi, I'm Luki, career coach from Focus Inspired. In today's video, we'll be sharing five tips to prepare yourself in your final year of university. First of all, congratulations on making it to the home stretch. You have a few months left, then you're done with what is expected of you. But how can you kickstart your career in your final year of university? Here are some tips to help. Get your academic house in order. Whether your marks are just okay or if they're great, don't forget the fact that you still need to graduate. Allocate time for your courses and your grades and consider a model week. Include your courses and at least one hour for each instructional hour for studying and assignments. If your marks aren't as good, you might need two or three. When the course starts, get ahead of the reading, studying and assignments. Start early and avoid cramming. Add time for career and job search activities and consider adding the equivalent of one or two or even three full classes worth of time, depending on how much time you've previously invested in your career activities. Also, make sure to include some self-care time for yourself, your friends, and your family. Explore where you want to be. Do you know what you want to do with your degree? If you have multiple options, pick one to start. You can always change it later. Getting some experience by participating in student clubs can be helpful, perhaps as a leader or just as a member. You might actually be too late for official hiring, and you can be creative on how you can be helpful, as experience is better than titles. Look for events and activities that are catered to your profession, or look outside the campus if you have to. Plan to connect with alumni and have coffee chats to learn more about the profession to make sure it is what you actually think it is. Perhaps get some advice from them as well. And if you can demonstrate that you're worth an investment, they might even be willing to refer you into the company. You don't need a crystal clear idea of exactly what you want, and the exploration will go a long way to help you land a job when you graduate. Make career time a priority. Looking for a job can almost be a full-time job on its own. Yes, school is important, and landing a job is just as important. Companies will often hire 4, 8, or even 12 months before. So if you're not starting early, you might spend months after you graduate on the job search. Visiting your career center and get help updating your resume and LinkedIn, practicing interviews, and networking. Connect with student clubs and leverage the resources and initiatives they have arranged. Many schools arrange for employers to be on campus for networking events and info sessions. Case competitions and hackathons are even better as the employers get to see you in action. And if you can't place, then at least participate and learn and grow. Even leverage your reading week and holiday breaks to catch up or get ahead on career time. Whatever you do, make career time a priority. If you're enjoying this video and find value from it, give it a like for the algorithm and share this video with a friend. Comment down below with your challenges in your job, career, and life. Now, let's continue on with the rest of the video. Build meaningful connections. Take an opportunity to really get to know your classmates. That person that you've seen all the time since first year? Why not say hi and start a conversation with them? Leverage these connections as practice for coffee chats with alumni. Make it a point to help your classmates and add value. You may have heard the expression, the more you give, the more you receive. Start by giving and you're golden. Then plan to stay connected with them. Get their personal social handles and email addresses, not just their university ones. Many folks start checking their university emails a few weeks or months after landing a job. Put a calendar invite that recurs every five months and never ends, and include all of their contact information. Then, when it pops up, give them an update and ask about them. Reflect, learn, and improve. As you go through the term, take time at the end of the day or the week to reflect. Reflect on what you enjoyed learning in class, what drained you. You can use the 5 2 one journaling method. Reflect on what aspects of your future job or career that you would appreciate more. You can write a retirement memo and multiple variants. Reflect on the connections that you've made and how you can start or continue to add value to them. You can do a value brainstorm or allocate time based on the recommendations from alumni and industry professionals. But whatever you do, take some time to reflect learn and improve. This video was brought to you by the Focus Inspired Academy. If you're looking for support in your job search or career, join us for e-learning content, weekly virtual group coaching, text access to our coaches in between sessions, and future apps and community to help you in your job search and career success. Check the link in the description box below for a free one month trial for supporting the channel.
Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to share this video with a friend and hit the like button. It would be much appreciated. Let me know if you have any questions or what you're struggling with in your job search or career, and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on jobs, careers, and life. And YouTube recommends that you check out these videos next. Thank you.